nice and comfy. <laughs> hey guys, it has been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute since we've chatted. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see the title of today's video, I wasn't actually expecting to do a video. It's currently about two o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep. Y'all know I have insomnia. For ages, I've been kind of wondering if I'll ever kind of come back to these chit chat videos or what I'm gonna do kind of with my channel because I had a whole heap planned for this year, but as you know, this year kind of went down the toilet and I didn't get to do a lot of what I wanted to do. I was going through my room today cleaning out some stuff and I came across my bag of T2 items that I have recently got at the Christmas sales and they've had a lot of sales on at the moment. And if you don't know what T2 is, it is basically the best tea store you will ever discover in your life. I was looking at the bag and I have gone through a lot of tea this year. A lot of tea. I'm not just talking one or two boxes. I'm talking quite a few boxes, like a lot of tea. Tea is one of those things that really helps me pretty much get through anything. So I found the bag and I suddenly remembered that one of the requested videos that you guys have asked me to do was a T2 haul. And if you might remember last year when I first started my channel, I did a video, my very first vlog, on T2 and their Christmas event special thing. And this year I went to the event, but it wasn't as big because I went to a different store. So I didn't, and I thought, oh look, I vlogged it once, you know, I'll leave the vlogging camera at home. Anyway, I had forgotten that I promised I would do a haul this year, and I was just sitting here, not doing anything, not able to sleep, and so I was like, I could talk about tea. Anyway, so I have my bag of goodies here, and Fancher is here too. She's just running around on the floor. I realize this video isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> wow, that's so bad. Anyway, this has been requested by a few of you, so here we go. Okay, so the first tea that I picked up from the winter collection was this gem. This is called the Milk Rose Chai. Definitely by far the best tea that T2 has brought out this year. It was absolutely amazing. Basically, it has rose petals and all the beautiful chai flavors that you know and love in regular chai tea. So you've got your cinnamon, star anise, clove, all that sort of thing with rose petals. The balance in this tea is amazing. Like it really has a good texture to it and you can make it so many different ways. Personally, like I used to get it made just as a hot tea and the girls would make it and they'd have this technique where they'd have two teapots and they'd be pouring it into the teapots to kind of aerate it and make it really creamy and give it a little bit more texture. One girl even got on a ladder and poured the tea from the ladder and someone else had another teapot down on the floor and it was just, it was hilarious. It was so funny, it was so good. And honestly, the flavor is robust, but it's really delicate as well. I also have made this as what I call my cold brew. So basically, I brew it in my T2 jug. I brew it overnight, and then in the morning, I pour the black tea over ice, and then add some milk. And sometimes I add brown sugar, uh, sometimes I add honey, sometimes I don't add anything, sometimes even a little bit of coconut sugar. Just depends what sweetener I feel like um, at the time. Highly recommend. Another one of my favorites from the winter collection this year was their spiced apple chai. This one just screamed full sweater weather. This one was fantastic around Halloween. If you're getting ready for Halloween, this was the brew that I drank when I filmed my video, the Halloween tutorial, get ready with me. So it's got your spicy uh, chai. So it basically, it's a black tea and it's got sweetly spiced apples encased in a buttery pastry. This sip is the definition of cozy. It has black tea, ginger, cinnamon, chicory root, turmeric root, 
so many. It's got roast. The roasted rice is really what gives it the depth of flavor. It's a really rich flavor, but it blends really well with the apple. Basically, it tastes like apple pie. It's a calming brew, but it's really rich and it really embodies the, all the flavors, not only of chai, but really of the sweet apple. Now this one was paired, I believe, with a little bit of brown sugar and made into a hot latte. I also made it into a cold brew and it was just as good. Another one to come out of the chai collection. Oh man, if you have tried this, you will know what I mean when I say winter, cozy, for Americans, Christmas, but for Aussies, fires and just snuggly weather. This is the Cinnamon Star Loose Leaf Tea. This tea tastes exactly like cinnamon rolls. I try to make cinnamon rolls on the first day of winter every single year and the last two years I've actually been in hospital on the 1st of June and I've never just got around to making them but it's kind of been a tradition of mine to make freshly made cinnamon rolls and I mean like kneading the dough, adding the yeast, all that sort of thing from scratch. Honestly, it tastes exactly the same. There are so many good ingredients in here. It has caramel pieces, cacao nibs, raisins, currants, cardamom, cinnamon. When I read the back of the ingredients list, I, I said to my girl at the store I go to, I'm like, come on, this is just gonna taste like cinnamon water, isn't it? And she's like, make it for you properly and she made it with brown sugar and she did the jug trick honestly I was dead I'm like sign me up for two boxes because that is insane and there's just something about it paired with warm milk and it's just a really uh, yet another cozy brew T2 was really on fire I found with their winter teas this year they absolutely nailed it this tea was one that it had to grow on me. At first when I tried it, I had to think about it and I had a sample of it and I was like, hmm, I wasn't too sure about it. And this was the chalk pear pudding. I tried a sample of it because when you go into the store you can try samples of tea and yeah, that in itself is amazing. They have like a bar where you can have your tea. I tried a sample of it, I wasn't convinced. And the girl said to me, she's like, what do you think? And I said, it tastes a bit fake, it doesn't taste all that, you know, it's not as good as the milk rose chai or anything like that. And she said, hold on a minute. She made me a fresh brew and made it with, I think it was honey, and she made it slightly stronger and then added a little bit more milk to it. Drop dead. I don't know how she did it, but honestly, she made it amazing. I asked her for the recipe, she gave it to me, and I've been drinking it ever since. Choc pear pudding literally does actually taste like a chocolate pear pudding. Black tea, cocoa beans, hazelnut, brittle pieces, apple, chocolate drops, and pear. You don't normally think of pairing chocolate and pear together, I certainly wouldn't. Something that I imagine having after dinner. I haven't tried it iced yet, but this pack was really cool because it also came with a little tea strainer and I don't know if you can see, but it comes with a little tea strainer with a little teapot at the bottom. So cute. So if you have a teapot, you can dangle it in. That's what the tea looks like. I should probably show you what the tea looks like, hey? Okay? And actually, this is something that I'm going to ask you guys if you want to see. If you want to see a demonstration of how I make my tea, I can also do that as well. The last tea as part of the winter collection was amazing, very delicate, very smooth, very velvety. And that was the Boho Rose. This is a completely different tea to the Milk Rose Chai. This doesn't have the spices that go along with the Milk Rose Chai. This is a very clean brew, I found. It's sweet, it's subtle, it's floral, but it's really delicate. It's a gorgeous pink color when you make it, so the milk turns it pink, which is awesome. And as you can see, it's a lot chunkier than the other teas that you find. So it has little rose buds in it. It's got chunks of, what are those chunks? Apple, dates, papaya, mango, 
beach beetroot. I can't taste the beetroot. Rosebuds, pistachio nuts, and a few um, a few other ingredients to make it taste really good. You can definitely, I can probably taste the papaya in it to be honest, but the rose flavor is really strong. I had one of my mates at one of the T2 stores that I go to make this and it was a total game changer. I call him King of the Boho Rose because he nails it every time. And he also experiments with tea, so he might add a little bit of different teas together to create different brews. And every time I see him, he's like, Kate, Kate, I've got another brew for you, I've got another brew, let me make you a tea. And he just seemed to nail the ratio with this one. And I know that he watches my video, so g'day Boho Rose King. You rock and keep making this because it's awesome. The next thing I want to talk about is the T2 Christmas Collection. Now every year T2 come up with a theme for Christmas and this is something that has been a tradition at T2 for many many years and each year the theme just gets better and better and this year was certainly no exception. So this year the theme was stories and fairy tales. So each tea, there was about three teas and each tea comes in its own little box and when you open the box it's shaped like a book and when you open the lid of the box it has a story you probably can't see it because it's quite faded but it each has its own little fairy tale story to go along with the tea and as you can see that's the tea in there now this tea that i got was called a trifle delicious and when i first read about this online when they announced it i was like trifle flavored tea are you kidding? Blech. I'm not a trifle person myself. But my nan used to make trifle and God bless her cotton socks. I would eat it of course and never say anything to her but I was gagging on the inside. I, it wasn't her cooking, it was just, I don't know, it was just the textures of it all together and all the flavours. I just didn't like it, it just wasn't my thing. So when I saw that it was you know, trifle, I was so hesitant to try it but of course you're going to try it. One sip dead. How the hell can they replicate tea that tastes like trifle? And I know I keep saying this in the video, but I can't quite express to you just how much their teas taste like what they say they are. It's unbelievable. It's so good. It's so tasty. And it's a mix of like berry flavors. Like what is in here? Apple, grapes, black, chokey berry, beetroot, elderberries, white chocolate, white chocolate, yeah, well no wonder I liked it. Sugar, um, strawberries, hibiscus, natural and artificial flavors, carob, black currants, blueberries, raspberries, and red currants. Oh, yum, so delicious. So they made us a mocktail out of this as well. And they made it with like lemonade and milk and they put fresh blueberries in there. It was absolute heaven. You get the real vanilla creamy um, like velvet taste that comes with trifle, like the custard flavour, but you also get the berries and like the jelly. It does taste like jelly. Oh, you could actually make a really epic jelly out of this. My mum's best friends came over for lunch the other week and I decided to make a mocktail for them on arrival and so I made the blueberry mocktail and it went down really well. I really enjoyed it. And my mum's best friend said to me, you could turn this into a smoothie. If you add a bit of ice cream or a bit of yogurt or something, it would put it right over the edge. And I was like, yep, yeah, let's do it. Let's get out the Nutribullet and whiz away. It tasted like ice cream, but in a really fruity, delicious way. So typically this is made cold. You, you could drink it hot if you wanted to, but I would prefer it and recommend it cold just because it's like a really summery, chilling, refreshing brew. And I cannot recommend this enough. It was so good. It is limited edition, so if you want to get your paws on it, I suggest you do that rather quickly. It's available on the website and also in T2 stores. I am a sucker for mugs. I'm a sucker for especially to go flasks, so takeaway flasks and like takeaway cups because when I'm well, obviously not when I'm sick, but when I'm well or even when I'm in hospital, I always take tea with me wherever I go. So I have to take my tea in a container. Now I fell in 
love with this container when I first saw it and I haven't even opened it yet that's how new it is and check out this paper the paper that they wrap it in actually matches the theme of the storytelling theme for Christmas it's so cute I love it it's a rainbow flask and it is so many different colors it changes in the light depending on what light you're in it completely just is I don't know why I like it I, lo I love anything rainbow and colorful and bright you can never have too many tea canisters in my opinion and the cool part about this is that it keeps the tea hot for they say eight hours I've actually tested this and mine stayed hot for 16 hours because when I babysit your girl needs a really strong brew because those godsons of mine wear me out so um, I need a strong brew basically it comes with a tea insert so you can twist out the top pop your tea in there if you like a strong brew like I do I just leave my tea in there screw the lid on pour your hot water in brew the tea for a couple of minutes pour the milk in add this back in screw it on the lid on and you're good to go all day. These are so durable these things. I've had my godson throw it from one end of the room to the other. I've had him trip over it. I've had him tread on it and it doesn't seem to break whatsoever. They're really sturdy and because I got it at the sale it was like 20% off so which was really really cool. I could not recommend these enough. They have them in smaller ones as well which are fantastic if you're making like matcha I do have a smaller one which comes with like a whisk instead of the tube and that's been great to make my matcha which leads me to another thing that I picked up at the sale which was the T2 matcha sticks. Now these are fantastic, these are matcha powders in little sticks so if you're on the go or you just want to make a really quick brew without having to like measure it out your green tea like your tea powder this is just everything you need in one sachet you pour it in make it as per the instructions you're good to go last but very not least for my t2 haul is one of my christmas staples i have really been getting into christmas traditions recently and one of those traditions since last year i only started it last year because i only found out about it last year is this little baby the Christmas breakfast. Again, how can you bottle Christmas? This is it. I think you, you've heard me mention this in my Christmas vlog last year. I had this as a cold brew. I bought like two, three boxes of it last year and I'm still going through those boxes. But this is my December staple. So when I am Christmas shopping or anything, this really gets me in the mood when I'm wrapping presents I have this it just this combined with my nan's old you know 30s style Christmas CD and baking gingerbread and Christmas to me is really about love and about family friends loved ones and just really all the feels it's very similar to a chai really so it kind of tastes like Christmas pudding what's it got in it it's got black tea, ginger, cinnamon, natural and artificial flavouring, vanilla and nutmeg. And it sounds so simple, but yet it tastes smooth. Like even smelling it, I'm like, oh, it just smells like Christmas. I've already had one today. <laughs> I had one yesterday. I went to T2. It was so delicious. It just tastes like Christmas. I make it with half a teaspoon of brown sugar and that really brings out the flavor of like the the ginger and the cinnamon and the nutmeg because it kind of really enhances it so there you have it that was my t2 christmas haul for 2018 this was such a random video i honestly did not think i would be filming at all this week or even today or even for a while i've currently at the moment i've got a poll running on my instagram as to what you guys want to see from my blog posts, from my YouTube channel. This year didn't go as planned for me, so I really, there was about a six month break where I didn't, I wasn't able to do anything. So all the ideas and things that I had 
they just kind of went out the window. So I'm starting to plan for 2019. Holy moly, 2019 is going to be amazing. I've also done a survey and you guys want to hear more of my story and you know my, the life lessons I've learned which thank you guys so much for, for a voting but also just supporting my channel and you know really kind of giving me that grace period and understanding. I started this channel a year ago but I feel like I haven't made anywhere near as many videos as what I want to but they are coming, you are not going to keep me down for long and it's great because I can do this from my slippers. At the moment my legs are really messed up from I've had three weeks of really bad migraines and seizures and I've just come out of hospital so it's great to kind of you know cuddle up with a blanket, a cup of tea and slowly ease myself back into it. Once again thank you so much for watching and for all your love and support, I really appreciate it. If you want to join our YouTube fam, click like and subscribe and yeah, join my journey. It's going to be a wild ride, but good things are going to come. Have a great day, guys. Have a wonderful Christmas if I don't talk to you before then. I'm not sure if I'm going to be vlogging yet. I haven't really decided, but if I don't talk to you before Christmas, have a wonderful, safe Christmas and a happy new year. Bye, guys.